Is it not absurd to keep putting in people in prison when we don't have enough space for them? Is it really not absurd? Uh, the, we, I think we've now got double the number of people in prison than we had 30 years ago. And 30 years ago, people were uh, crying out for prison reform and space for individual prisoners. Uh, Charlie Taylor has um, had a role of um, inspecting 123 jails across England and Wales and reveals a system which is utterly breaking. Um, Alex Chalk has got these emergency measures to um, m modify to, to modify prisoners' uh, sentences and to encourage uh, slightly less jail time, releasing some prisoners 18, 18 days earlier. Uh, 88,225 uh, 88, people uh, are in prison at the moment. That's outrageous. And the amount of money that we pay to keep one prisoner in prison is often more than we would pay to put one child through a private education. For what? For what reason? There is no reason for for this. People don't come out of prisons better than when they went in because there isn't the there isn't the time or the staff to to help prisoners rehabilitate and reform. We're just simply locking people up for a period of time at huge expense. And it's the expense which perhaps is the thing we should bear in mind. Keeping people in prison, keeping people in a room, overcrowded room, for 23 hours every day, this leaves them bored, this leaves them uh, open to drugs, this leads them to develop their own violent instincts fueled by the chatter with people uh, in their own cell with whom they have nothing in common except for fellow criminality. Um, and the prisons are dirty, the prisons are uh, teetering in into decay. And it's not only people who have been sentenced, it's uh, exactly the same sort of nonsense that we've got in the in the Home Office with migrants. We've got people waiting to receive justice, people on remand. Uh, and it doesn't matter, they, the the government can't be patting itself on the back and saying, oh, we've got the biggest prison building campaign since the Victorian era to create 20,000 new places, making sure we always have the places we need. What utter rubbish. We're at breaking point. And, uh, it, and, it, and again, it doesn't matter whether we're going to be repatriating foreigners um, who have been in British jails it, it doesn't matter um, because we have we have been trying to use prisons to solve our problems solving our problems is not about putting people in prison solving our problems is about changing people's attitudes uh, Pentonville built for 500 inmates now has more than twice that amount Wandsworth um, 1,600 prisoners built for 1,000. Um, Bristol, uh, Bristol also overcrowded with inmates dying by suicide um, and, uh, and, and, and ill health up. There, there, must, there must be a better, there must be a better solution for punishing people who have done who have done wrong and uh, trying to uh, try, try, trying to beef up the justice system while failing to sort out the 
the prison system is is a madness, an utter madness. And there have been plenty of people saying the prison system is uh, the, the buildings are not um, are not sound. There's not enough of them, and there's not enough staff. And we should be attracting that sort of. Um, we should be attracting more staff to to um, to manage our prison population. Maybe we should be attracting more people from abroad to do so. Maybe we need more migrants to manage prisons. <laughs>